Doug Gray. This is the Wealth Guardian Show on 94.5 WPTI, Piedmont's News Talk and Sports Station. You know, planning for retirement can be complicated and overwhelming. Should you invest in the stock market right now or run for the hills? How and when is the best way to optimize your Social Security benefits? How will you withdraw money from your IRA or your 401k so it won't necessarily cost you thousands in taxes and penalties and and fees? And how do you maintain your lifestyle in retirement? Today I've done all that homework for you. Coming up in this segment, I'm going to reveal 10 golden rules of retirement planning that can have the biggest impact on your money and your retirement. But first, we're going to do a market update, and I'm also going to say thank you to all of our men and women uh, serving us abroad in uniform. Thank you so much. Um, Our blessings go out to you, and hope you return home safe and sound. Uh, Market. Last week, we talked about where this market was. It was in an oversold condition, uh, and I said that we were uh, due for a bounce, and in fact, that bounce did start a week ago on Friday. And I said, is this a situation where we want to buy the dips like we've been accustomed to the last five years? In my humble opinion, I don't think so. I think this is a case where we sell the bounce and not buy the dip. Then that being the case, then let's take a look at some targets for this bounce. We were so oversold coming out of January that we should have, if this market has any health whatsoever in it, and quite honestly, I don't see a lot. But if it does, we should have a couple weeks, maybe three weeks of an opportunity to get some more points back on the board. And I'm telling you this because I've run into the situation lately where people have been blindsided by this market. Some of them are saying, oh, I can't do anything now because I'm, I've lost so much money. i got to wait till it comes back. Here's the problem with that, folks. You don't know when to get out of it. If you're waiting for this thing to get back to its its high of last May, you're not going to see that happen again, in my humble opinion. Now, we talked about retracement levels last week. So basically that means how far can it bounce? Well, the first one, we've got plenty of overhead resistance at the Dow 16,500 level. If it tops out there and rolls over, then go ahead and get out. Run to safety. Run to the hills, like I said a moment ago. If it keeps going through that level, if it can get through that, then the next target would be about 17.2, and then if it can get through that, then about 17.9. Now, I'm going to try to guide you as best I can on this show. But you got to understand something. Bear markets go down a whole lot faster than a bull market goes up. You know, the old adage is, uh, you know, the bull market takes the stairs and the bear market takes the elevator down. So you got to be ready. Now, one thing that you might want to give serious consideration to is coming in and sitting down and having a chat with me about all this, and I will show you how to figure out on your own where these retracement levels are and when to get in and get out. Very easy to understand stuff. So give us a call at the office at 336-391-3409. Now, why am I so confident we are in a primary bear market? Well, I'll tell you why. There's a whole host of reasons why. But the bottom line is liquidity has stopped. And it stopped long before Janet Yellen and the Fed in December raised interest rates a whole quarter of a point. It stopped over a year ago when they stopped QE3. That basically, the QEs, the TARPs, the LERPs, all of that, those Fed gizmos is why this market is where it is today. The other reason is fundamental. Companies are starting to see a slowdown. They're starting to see a slowdown not only in the U.S., but all over the world. Earnings are coming in substandard even after they've been reduced by analysts. And if you just look at the chart, the technicals of it, it just looks like a very, very heavy market. 
Now, I want to bring something else to your attention, too, on a technical basis. We have a very nasty head and shoulders pattern starting to play out in this market. I've talked to you before about this pattern. Uh, It's very reliable when it goes active. And basically, for you new listeners, if you've just joined us, this is your first day listening to the Wealth Guardians. You know, I try. My motto is I tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And right now, we have a very unhealthy stock market, and I'm very concerned that you're going to lose a lot of money in your 401ks. So what is a head and shoulders pattern? A head and shoulders pattern on a stock chart looks just like if you looked at your 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 spouse across from you on in the breakfast table, uh, it just looks like their their head and their shoulders. It's traced out that kind of a figure. Now, <clears throat> what does that mean? It means this. If the price of the market subsequently drops off what would be, as you're looking at it, the right shoulder of your spouse. If it goes below what we call the neckline area, that it, that that line between your neck, your right and your left shoulder, if it drops below that, then what we can do for a downside price target is just take the pattern and flip it upside down. So now the top of the head becomes the bottom, and at the bottom of the head, that's where you draw in your price target. So with this big head and shoulders pattern, once this market rolls over again and breaks that neckline, then that traces out to 14,100 on the Dow. And that's about a 2,000 point drop from where we are. You know, we had our state of the market uh, uh, update for our clients this, uh, this past week. And, and um, some of the things I talked about is our markets topped out in May of last year. We're down about 10, 11, 12 percent from those tops. But if you look at all the major markets of the world, they topped out before that, and they're down much more than we are. You know, Wall Street calls a 10 percent drop a correction. Once you get into a 20 percent drop, they call that a bear market. All the other developed markets of the world are in a bear market. You know, China's down 30 plus percent. We've got Europe, most of Europe is down uh, 25, 26 percent. Um, they're in a bounce right now, just like we are, but they're going to continue to go further. So I've said this before and I'm saying it again. Do not listen to these Wall Street risk advisors to tell you to stay invested to ride this thing out. They're going to ruin your retirement if you listen to them. Did that work for you back in 2008? Heck no, it didn't. Don't ride this thing down again when you have the ability to get out of harm's way. Now, let me tell you something else. I've talked about David Stockman before. He has got a great uh, blog. You can uh, Google David Stockman. He is uh, He's the past director of the OMB. In fact, he was the guy that came out on 60 Minutes, oh gosh, 10 plus years ago, um, the first one, one blowing the warning horn about the debt that's being built up, not just in this country, but worldwide, and how that's going to be the undoing of us all. Now, David Stockman just came out recently, and he said this. He said, this bounce is going to be the opportunity for the institutions to get out of the market. They're going to use it as an opportunity to unload their shares on you And at the same time, they're going to short the market. And you know what? I believe he's right. So right now, as as this market is going up, the institutions, the big boys, the mutual funds, all those big uh, investment pools are selling into it. Okay, That's what I'm telling you to do. I'm telling you to be the institutional player now, not retail mom and pop. Don't buy into the Wall Street garbage because they got to have you in the market so they can unload their shares and then go short. All right, so I got a little story for you. This is the tale of two retired couples. It's two couples. They're about the same age. They've saved the same amount of money all their retirement, but there's one big difference. One couple's doing everything they ever dreamed of doing in retirement, but the other couple is just scraping by. 
How in the world did that happen? Why is that? It's because one couple did more than just save for retirement. They actually created a sound and thoughtful retirement game plan. But the other couple, they had no plan. They just listened to their advisor and buy and hold, buy and hold, and that didn't work for them. Do you want to learn how you could actually make your money go further in retirement than you ever thought possible? Get the answer in our customized five-point retirement master plan. There's no cost for, to you, and there's nothing for you to lose. So if you've got at least $100,000 you save for retirement, call to schedule your retirement analysis right now. The number is 336-391-3409. 336-391-3409. You know, we have helped literally hundreds of people right here in the triad, and we can help you too. That's 336-391-3409, or, you know, be my guest and go on our website. That's www.thewealthguardians.com. I think you'll be very happy that you came in and sat down and, and spent an hour or so with me because I'm going to show you, uh, again, some exit strategies and some entry p- strategies for, for this market so that you won't lose 30, 40, or 50, or more percent in your 401k like you did back in 2008. Remember when you called it a 201k? You don't want another 201k, do you? So again, give us a call at 336-391-3409. Now, when we get back, we're going to go over those 10 points of a uh, a successful retirement plan, and we'll be gone for just a minute. This is the Wealth Guardian Show on 94.5 WPTI, Piedmont's News Talk and Sports Station. back. My name is Doug Ray. This is the Wealth Guardian Show 94.5 WPTI, Piedmont's News Talk and Sports Station. You know, they say it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill. But between managing a career and raising a family, do you really have that kind of time to master planning for your retirement? Is it even realistic to think you'll learn everything there is to know about risk and asset allocation and taxes and Social Security and withdrawal strategies and income and insurance and long-term care and everything else that goes into planning for your retirement. Probably not. Don't worry, though, because we got you back. Coming up in this segment, I'm going to go over the 10 golden rules that's going to help you make your money go that much further. So let's talk about a, a rule number one. This one I really like. One way is to make sure you never lose money. Now, how do you do that? Well, the old adage is, how do you make money in Wall Street? You buy low and you sell high, right? You guys do that? Does your broker tell you when to sell? No, they don't. Wall Street brokers don't tell you that. They sure have plenty of times they tell you to buy. Buy, 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 buy this, buy that, buy a variable annuity, buy a mutual fund, buy this stock, buy our service. Do they ever tell you it's time to get out? It's time to run for the hills. Well, we've got a strategy that will tell you exactly when to get in get out. You know, I've talked about it a multitude of times on this radio program. It's Dr. Shap's 50-50 strategy. It works like a champ, and it's simple and easy to understand. I will teach it to you. I'll be more than happy to teach it to you. And you'll understand it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand this stuff. And it doesn't take you long to implement it either. Once you learn it, and I think that'll take me 15 minutes of teaching, then you can take a look at the chart every day. It'll take you no more than a minute to determine, do I need to be in, out, buy, or what? That's number one. Number two, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Boy, I've seen this a lot in my career where 
you folks that work for companies out there will stick all your money, all your 401k money in, in your in your company stock. Yeah, you're proud of your company. You've worked 25, 30 years for your company. And it's done great. And you know, let me talk to you Reynolds employees right now. Reynolds stock has done tremendous. But no company is, you know, guaranteed not to stub their toe and fall. Reynolds stock as you know, if you've worked at Reynolds before, has had its ups and its downs. And now, surprisingly, it's really done very, very well during this uh, last year or so where the market's been so volatile. But I beg you, if you have a huge position of your company stock in your retirement plan, please come in and get a second opinion. All right, let's talk about number three. How about even having a game plan? Do you even have a written retirement income plan? I mean, do you have a sound idea of when you're going to retire other than say, oh, I think maybe I'm going to retire when, you know, I I can get Social Security. What, 62, 65, 67, 70? What is the plan? Sit down with a competent retirement advisor and put in a written income plan that incorporates our five-part master plan. That would be a great idea. And do it as soon as possible. You know, if you're already in retirement, it's not too late to get that plan put together. But ideally, you ought to be thinking about this, say, five years before retirement. You know, they say the five years before and the five years after retirement is critical to your long-term success. That's why we call it the retirement red zone. If you stumble your, or, or in, in that period of time, then, you know, you have decreased uh, your odds of a successful retirement significantly. All right. Make sure you got everything working together. This is number four. And this is really just kind of a, a, uh, a branch of having the financial game plan. What I mean by having everything working together, having your Social Security, your income, having all that working so that it minimizes taxes. Take risk off the table. Make sure you've got a good estate plan in place. Uh, make sure long-term care is a part of the program. All of that works together synergistically so that it maximizes the longevity of your retirement income. Make sure you have at least 20% of your long-term retirement assets designed so that they create an income you cannot outlive. That's important. That's recreating a pension. A pension is what most of you don't have now. Your moms and dads had it, but you don't. And I can tell you from doing hundreds, if not thousands, of retirement plans, the people who do the best going into retirement, A, have little debt, don't have a fancy lifestyle, and three, have a pension, or at at least have figured out how to plan some sort of a piece of their retirement asset to generate that lifetime income for them. Well, if you just joined us, you're listening to the Wealth Guardian Show. My name is Doug Ray. I'm your host uh, on this program. And I guess this is as good a time to segue into this message. How do you go from saving and investing for retirement to actually retiring with confidence? How's that happen? How do you go from point A to point B? Saving and investing for retirement is one thing. We call that the accumulation phase of life. But having a simple strategy to pay fewer taxes or optimizing your Social Security benefits or having a strategy to avoid taxes, penalties, fees when withdrawing your money from your retirement accounts, these things can add up to tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. It can make your money go much, much further. And sooner you get started, the better off you're going to be. Give me 60 minutes and I'll prove it to you. 
If you're recently retired or you're within five years of retiring in that retirement red zone like I talked about, and you've got at least $100,000 you've put away for retirement, call us, schedule your appointment, your analysis. Our number is 336-391-3409. That's 336-391-3409. I have helped hundreds of people retire successfully right here in the triad. And it can help you too. The initial analysis, like I said, is not going to cost you a dime and you got nothing to lose. You know, one of the greatest things about my job is when I tell somebody you can retire and we get that plan together, that smile that comes across their face, their eyes light up, man, that just warms my heart. I want to help you get that smile and those bright eyes. Give us a call. 336-391-3409. All right, let's get back to the 10 golden rules. Let's uh, now go into uh, one of them that's near and dear to my heart, and that's optimizing your Social Security benefits. You know, we've talked about the changes that occur to Social Security optimization. And let me repeat right here for you that may not know, Uh, Hopefully you've heard me say this before, but there is a window. There's two windows of opportunity for for some of you. What I mean by that is if you turn 62 years of age by December 31st or you're older by December 31st, you have until 2019 to put into place an optimization strategy, which could enable you to get tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars more in Social Security benefits. Now, the next one, this one is this window is shutting quickly. Please listen to me. If you are full retirement age right now or older and you have not started benefits, you have until May 1st to go back and do the full optimizations that we were talking about months and years ago. May the 1st is your deadline. So again, if you find yourself right now, full retirement age or above, and you have not turned on your benefits yet, call me at 336-391-3409. We will have some more workshops before that May 1st deadline, but your window is truly shutting down quickly. All right, next golden rule. Have a strategy to withdraw your income from your retirement accounts. It's not enough to just say, I think, Margaret, I'm going to go into the bank and take out a couple grand this month. You know, that, that doesn't work because the strategy is to make everything work together synergistically so that you limit the taxation that you're going to incur. You know, when you take money out of your retirement account, that's a taxable event. And in addition to that, the amounts of money that you take out can and will put you into a bracket that's going to make your Social Security benefits taxable as well, or at least a portion of them. So you want to make sure you've got everything balanced or optimized. And the only way to do that is to figure out with a written income plan exactly the best way to take distributions from your account. For example, should you do a Social Security delayed strategy where that means you're going to have to take more funds out of your IRAs initially in order to delay taking benefits so that you can get all those delayed credits? Or maybe in your situation, and this happens quite a bit, your goal is to retire at, say, age 65. And therefore, for your goal to happen, you're going to have to turn on your Social Security benefits. How do you know? Do you just lick your finger and stick it in the wind and say, I think I'm going to do this? Have a written plan. It's so important. People go into retirement now without any kind of a knowledge or a roadmap or anything. I mean, would you get in your car and drive to California without, I mean, I guess roadmaps are obsolete now, so at least you'd have a GPS. Use me as your GPS for your retirement. You know, we've done hundreds of them, thousands of them even. Um, I, uh, I specialize in retirement income planning, and I want to help you in your retirement. 
Well, this is the Wealth Guardian Show. It's been a blast being with you today, and we'll see you next week right here on 94.5 WPTI, Piedmont's News, Talk, and Sports Station.